How's everybody doing? Welcome to Live at Lunch. My name is John Schaefer. This, of course, is a different location than it was last week. That's right. We're in a new place. We are at one of the true gems of the Harris County Public Library system. This is the Maud Marks Branch Library. That's right. Very beautiful. As I'm, as I'm showing you around, take a look at this. Got the children's section over there moving into reference and all the way in here to the front lobby. Hey guys, welcome to the show. This of course is Live at Lunch where we talk about some of the most amazing uh, uh, programs that the Harris County Public Library is doing. We'll promote those so you can hear what they're doing and get involved. We are at Mod Marks, as I said, and we have a very special maker program today. That's right, we are going to be talking all about making stuff and looking at the Mod Marks Maker Lab. I'm very excited about that. But Right now would be a perfect time to go ahead and click that like and subscribe. It really does help us out. You want to make sure you also hit the notifications button. That way you know every time we go live and you don't miss any programs. Um, tell you what summer is on, guys. Look, at I still got my Tales and Tales t-shirt on. The summer reading program, of course, Tales and Tales is for animal tales and fairy tales. It is not too late to get involved and sign up for our summer reading program. You can do so at our website hcpl.net. Just go to Beanstalk, Beanstack and sign up and there's a lot of, you get free books, a lot of great prizes. There's also uh, drawings you can get involved in. So all of it, very cool. And we want you to join us uh, for that. Now then, summer feeding is still going on strong as well. Kids Cafe, if you happen to know of anybody who uh, uh, needs some food or some child, we can do that because we've teamed up with the Houston Food Bank to provide free meals uh, during the summer for children ages 18 and under. Pick up uh, seven breakfast and seven lunch meals. Children must be present or bring documentation. Uh, it's first come, first served. Uh, no registration is needed though. And you wanna make sure you call your local branch library. Now it's at all the branches, but you wanna call your local branch because they have different pickup times or different days that uh, uh, pick up for each different branch. And so now let's get to the show guys. I don't know about you, but I like making stuff. Um, uh, the Mod Marks branch has an amazing maker lab and some of the most talented people who are taking care of that stuff. Tell you what, why don't you just let this little video introduce all about the Makers Lab and let's see what they can do. Hey everybody, welcome to Mod Marks. Come on inside. My name is Robin and I'm a library service specialist here at Mod Marks. We're gonna take you on a really quick tour of the building and then we're gonna head on over to our main feature, that's the Maker Lab. All right, everybody, the wait is over. Welcome to the Maker Lab. our resident Maker Lab expert, Alexis, and she's going to be showing us some of the Maker machines we have here. Hi guys, my name is Alexis and I'm a library programming specialist here at the Mod Marks Library. I help certify patrons to use the machines, utilize our lab to make displays, and create crafts our patrons can enjoy. So first we're going to talk about our 3D printer. Here at Mod Marks Library we have a Dremel 3D45. It's a fully enclosed system and you can print using PLA filament. Um, these are a few examples of items we've made here at Mod Marks. Um, really, the only limit is your imagination. Now we're going to move on to the laser cutter. Here at Mod Marks, we have a Dremel Digilab LC40 40 watt laser cutter. The Dremel Digilab LC40 laser cutter can cut a variety of materials. It can cut wood, fabrics and textiles, paper, and approved acrylics. Our laser cutter has a wide variety of options and settings to help you bring your artistic vision to life. One of our favorite laser cut projects here at Mod Marks is Humphrey, the camel. Now let's go check out our last machine. 
Our final machine today is the Cricut Explore Air 2. The Explore Air 2 can cut a variety of materials, such as cardstock, which can be seen here, as well as heat transfer vinyl, also known as HTV, which can be seen on this apron, as well as this summer fun koozie. The Cricut can also cut vinyl, which is often seen on car decals, as well as on the project you'll be seeing later today. Now that you've met our machines and you've met Alexis, let's go see that Cricut in action. Hey, well, guess what? We are back again, and right now in the lab, of course, is Alexis. How are you doing, Alexis? I'm doing great. How are you? Uh, I'm doing very well. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, you guys make some very, very cool stuff, and uh, I kind of fancy myself a maker as well. Uh, I've been a little woodworker for a little while. As a matter of fact, I uh, recently made a planter for my girlfriend, gave it to her, and uh, well, she hadn't done anything yet with it, but you know, I'm hopeful that she will put something in it. I'm gonna have to make some more cool stuff. Because what I'm saying is, I gotta up my making game. Because that's what I'm. That's where I'm going with this, Alexis. So, um, you're a maker as well. What now? If you want to get involved in making stuff and uh, you want to do some of the cool stuff that you guys do, what what does it take? What do you need to do? Okay, so to make here um, at Mon Marks as well as HCPL, what you would need to do is um, first uh, attend an orientation. For the machine that you would like to use. We have a bunch of different machines and the easiest way to um, look for orientation times and to sign up is to go to hcpl.net and the Maker Central page. There you go. See hcpl.net, always a place to go to check out everything. Um, now I noticed you mentioned in your video you said Humphrey the Camel. I have a couple questions. First off, how did you come up with the name Humphrey? Um, that was actually his name. Um, <laughs> Uh, I think Kamiko uh, at Admin helped us make him uh, when right. we first got our laser cutter. Um, and his name was just Humphrey from the beginning, I think, because he has humps, obviously. Oh, I get it now. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get that before. <laughs> that makes sense. Humphrey the camel. Okay. See, this is why the planner I made for my girlfriend is not good, because I got to, I got to, anyway. Okay, so uh, out of all the stuff you've been making, say, the last year, what are some of your favorite projects that you've made? Um, we have quite a few favorites. Um, I would definitely say uh, my favorite is Project Makerspace. Okay. Um, it's very cool. It allowed us to connect the community um, with nature and to tie in technology. Very cool. Yeah, I've heard about the nature space and that you made stuff like, I think, in the 3D printer over here, the, uh, the bird house. Look at that. Very cool. We'll tell you what, you know what, uh, better than me showing it, why don't we have, we have a very cool video explaining everything about nature space. Let's go ahead and take a look at that now. When we come back, We'll be making more things, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and fixing things. <laughs> okay. Let's watch that video now. Welcome to Project Nature Space. Today we are 3D printing custom birdhouses to make homes for all the different bird populations that frequent the area around our library. The maker movement has been growing steadily for the last few years and has quickly gained traction in homes and schools across the nation. Makerspaces like ours here at the Mon Marks Library provide a way to connect the community with a variety of specialized equipment and opportunities that facilitate innovation and learning. The goal of Project Nature Space is to connect the community with nature by providing activities created using maker equipment and eco-friendly, repurposed, and scrap materials. For example, these birdhouses are made out of filament and will help feed and shelter our local birds. The footage you are seeing is actually from a tiny camera inside the 3D printer that captures every project we make on film. This is the time-lapse shot. After we are done printing the birdhouse, we are off to the front of our building to find a perfect tree for our birdhouse. Here we are securing the birdhouse to the tree, pretty high up to avoid predators. In the area surrounding Mon Marks, the bird population mainly consists of Mississippi kites, northern cardinals, blue jays, and mockingbirds. To finish, 
We added our beautiful rocks painted by our wonderful patrons from a past DIY craft kit. And there you have it, a beautiful new home for our beloved birds. Thank you for taking the time to learn a little more about Project Nature Space, and don't forget to stop by to check it out for yourself. Where I'm standing in the lobby right now, I can actually see the bird feeder that is described in the video. It's on this beautiful live oak tree, and there is actually some birds flying around it right now. One of them just landed on it. So uh, please come by and check that out. You guys did a great job with that. Now then, Miss Alexis, you are going to make something for us right now. This, I believe, is a craft that you you just recently did. Just a good example of one of the, some of the cool stuff that you guys do. What is it you're going to be making for us today? Okay, so today we are going to be making a um, beach memory jar, and I can show that here. Um, this oh, wow. was actually our maker craft from this past month in July. Um, we created this so that people could commemorate their um, beach adventures this summer. And we used uh, the well, let's see. Let's see what, uh, make, let's show us how to do it. Okay. So before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and go over some of the materials that we're going to need to make uh, the beach memory jar. The first, of course, uh, you can see there to the side, um, is going to be a clear glass jar, 16 ounces or larger, preferably. Um, you're going to need the decal, which we pre-cut um, uh, using permanent vinyl on the Cricut. Um, we also have a few blue dots, some, uh, some uh, sorry, a jute um, embellishments, as well as a few um, things. We have a sand dollar, a sea star, um, and a little shape there uh, that we cut with the Cricut, as well as some shells. You'll also need a picture um, from your beach journey, as well as um, some sand or other, you know, things you've collected along the way that you would like to put in it to make it your own. So to begin, the first thing that you would do is you're going to take the clear glass jar and you're going to use the decal that we've already pre weeded and you're going to Place the decal on the jar. So to do that, you're going to take the decal and separate it from the transfer sheet. Like so. So it should look something like this, kind of like what you see when you put a decal on your car. Now I'm going to affix it to the jar. And I'm going to do that by burnishing it on. And once I've done that, it should look something like this. So next I'm gonna take the sand and I'm gonna put it inside the jar. So once you have the sand inside the jar, you can see it there on the bottom. I can add any other elements I want. In this case, I have some seashells that I picked up at the beach. So I'm going to place in the jar. You can always move them around however you like. Next, I'm going to take the piece that we cut with the Cricut and a picture. And I'm going to use a glue dot to affix the picture to the backing. Like so. And once that's done, you can get the jar and place the picture in however you see fit. Remember, it's your jar, your memories, so anything goes. So once that's in, you can use the jute or the twine to decorate the lip of the jar. In this case, I'm just going to wrap it around and tie it in a bow. But like I said, you can always make it your own however you want to do it. I use glue dots, but you could also use um, hot glue. So once you have that on, like I said, there are also a few other pieces you can choose to add to the jar. You could always glue them to the side, or once you place the lid on the top, 
you choose to do so. You could also affix them using a glue dot to the top. We also included a piece that's blank like this so that you could commemorate it and write down which beach you went to in the year and place that inside as well. So that's pretty much it. Very cool. It's like a, a, a way to, you know, uh, have a memories of memories in a jar of a trip. And I was thinking you could also do that for camping, too. You could, like, you know, get some dirt from the campsite and, you know, get like a pine cone leaf and, you know, a picture of camping. It might not work for a snow skiing trip, though. Probably not. It might not. You know. Yeah, exactly. So, but you know what? For the summer of the beach, great way to uh, uh, add that memory. You guys do some really cool stuff, and uh, if somebody wants to like keep up and wants to know how you're doing these very really cool things, how might somebody, oh, let's say, keep up with what's going on at Bard Marks Library? <laughs> okay, so um, you could always visit our website. Um, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I would definitely recommend Instagram because we have some really funny, great reels there. You guys really do. And I was leading you into that because I wanted to see some of these reels. You guys uh, do some of the funniest and some of the best uh, Instagram reels uh, that I've seen. Uh, tell you what, I asked you guys to put together a little uh, uh, a little montage of them. So let's go ahead and play that now so you can take a look at some of their uh, some of the stuff they put on uh, social media. <laughs> Guys, do yourself a favor and make sure you sign up for uh, uh, their, follow them on Instagram and uh, different social media. They've got some very cool stuff. And uh, one of the things in the videos, if you notice, they use a uh, the Cricut and the heat press uh, for some really cool crafts. And uh, hey, you know what? We're not done yet making stuff. We're going to now talk to Miss Robin, who's going to bring the heat with the heat press and show us what's going on. Hey, Robin, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well. You also are in the uh, uh, the Mod Marks makerspace, and you're going to show us one of, uh, of another very cool craft that you guys have done in the past. Is that correct? Yeah, we're actually going to be um, heat pressing some T-shirts today. Well, let's do it. How? What do you? How does that work? Well, we um, started with our Centennial logos. This year is the hundredth year of the Harris County Public Library. Just in case anybody. Yes, it is. Know. <laughs> so uh, somebody actually made these logos um, within the system and they're great logos. There's two different types that you've probably seen online and around okay. um, all of our various medias. So I printed out both of them, but today I think we're going to go with a more of a simple design here. Um, so what we're using today is HTV that stands for heat transfer vinyl. Um, so nice. what we did, was we went ahead and uploaded the logo into the Cricut software. Uh, the cricket then cut it out for us and then we went ahead and weeded it so this is pre-weeded <laughs> so we uh we have two sides here we have a sticky side and we have more of a transparent okay. side uh this transparent film side helps to make sure that this doesn't burn your shirt <laughs> whenever you go and okay. press it. um you want to make sure you're buying htv specifically because if you buy um something like a permanent vinyl that's more for like stickers and more like a lexus's project so we're going to okay. start with this logo design, I've already preheated my press. Um, for this shirt, it is mostly cotton. It's a, This one specifically is 100% cotton. So we've heated this up to 315, uh, and then we're gonna place it for 30 seconds. So now that I have my decal ready to go, 
I'm going to go ahead and line it up all nice and straight here on the pocket of the shirt. And then, oh, you know what? I forgot a very important step. You want to get the wrinkles out of your shirt because that could really mess up the way that your design gets um, played. Wait a minute. You're, you're, you're telling me I'm going to have to do ironing for this craft? Yes, Is that unfortunately, as much as we all do not have the time to iron these days and the dryers mostly do it for us, we do have to get those wrinkles out ourselves. So right. now that I've pressed in the shirt, we're gonna go ahead and place this as straight as we can. I like to put it kind of right in the middle of the pocket. Um, so we're gonna stick it right here and it's gonna smooth that out as much as possible. And then we're gonna take our heat press this is already set for 30 seconds. So what we're gonna do is apply even pressure here. We're gonna click our fancy little cricket button and we're just gonna hold it for 30 uh, seconds. Well, so could you, you, you're doing it on a shirt now, which obviously we are, but is there, can you do it on anything else or what other? Uh, uh, you can, um, we have a few examples here. Uh, this was actually a heat press. Uh, this is kind of like a leather material. This is a keychain. Let me bring it a little closer. Okay. And then we also, um, actually, it goes back to our project Nature Space. This was on burlap. So, oh, wow. All right. All right. So, we're going to let that cool off. It is hot, hot, hot. This type is um, a warm peel. So, most of your packaging should tell you um, what kind of peel is required. There's cool peels. So, it wants it to be like completely cool. And then there's usually warm, it's pretty popular, especially with this. So, we're just going to wait for that to cool down. Uh, before we take that off. So we don't rip off the design with it. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, and so now all of this stuff, now obviously we're a little limited in how much we can offer right now because of the pandemic, but as the fall comes up, all of these things are going to be kind of available and like the maker space is, is something that to be enjoyed by, of course, all of our patrons, right? Is that correct? Oh, definitely, definitely. You definitely want to get your badges done as soon as possible. So when we are ready to open these doors, you will be ready to use these machines because you are so definitely if, there. <laughs> exactly. So if you've signed up to all the social media, if you're following, you guys are going to let people know what's going on. And these are some of the crafts that we're going to have available. Um, uh, some just an amazingly cool things that you guys do. Let's see. Are we almost are you, are you ready to yeah. peel that off? We are at a warm stage here. So I'll go ahead and peel that nice and slow just to make sure we don't take off our typography with it because it's quite thin. So if you do have a thin design, you're gonna wanna do this very delicately uh, to ensure that well, it all no. sticks together. So we're gonna not, do- Very um, delicately is not my strong suit, but you I know, know, I, I, I know. I'm usually one of those people <laughs> that just kind of rip it off, but, <laughs> but you gotta be delicate with things sometimes. So um, I'm gonna gotcha. give this an extra strength, let's say. I'm gonna flip this over and then we're just gonna press it one more time uh, just to make sure okay. that's securely in the pocket. So this one, you only need to do um, half of the time of whatever you did the first yep. time, just to just to give it a little bit of security. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> of course, then you're going to be able to wash this. You're going to be able to wear this. And this is just something oh, yeah. you can, you know, have your designs. Definitely. And you can uh, put them on your own shirts, your own type of clothing, your own burlap sacks, whatever you might have. Oh, yeah. the, the possibilities yeah. are, there's an infinite number of possibilities. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I actually saw this video the other day where somebody made a blanket for their dog and it was super cute. Uh, put their oh, name on nice. it. Now I want to do it for my dog. I want to, you know, personalize everything for her. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this product here. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. So you can put Very any cool. The possibilities are really endless. These, these cricket um, irons are huge. So you could really make some cool uh, t-shirts at home with this kind of stuff. Very cool. And I love that you put the, uh, picked the centennial to celebrate for the Harris County Public Library, which yeah. of course this year we are celebrating 100 years of service to Harris County. Hey, Robin, thank you so much for joining us. And also I want to thank Alexis for uh, uh, opening up the Makerspace Lab, opening up Mod Marks to us and letting us so see some of the cool stuff you do. Also, thank you guys for all the amazing, cool Instagram videos you guys are putting out. You guys are killing it. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us.
<laughs> You're welcome. Well, tell you what, uh, th- say goodbye to everybody. And uh, guys, tell you what, a couple of quick announcements. One more time, a reminder, uh, the Houston Community, uh, uh, Houston Food Bank is available for uh, summer feeding and we are partnering with them. So definitely, if you need p- meals for children 18 years and under, contact your local line. Library. Uh, that is going on till I think the midway through August. So uh, that is still available. Also, summer reading program. You want to sign up for Beanstack. Get some very cool prizes at summer reading. Lots of fun for that. And I want to tell everybody that we here at Live at Lunch are going to take a little bit of a vacation, but we will be back on August 17th, and we are going to be showing you the 1990s Decades Performance Video. Uh, as you know, every month uh, we highlight a different video, a different decade from the uh, uh, for the centennial celebration with our Decades Performance Videos. This uh, August is going to be um, the 1990s, and I can't wait to see what they have in store for us. Um, guys, Thank everybody here at Mod March for letting me come in here and show it. And thank you guys for watching and taking a little bit of your lunchtime. We will see you again very soon on August 17th. Thank you so much, everybody, and goodbye.